India being a major exporter of refined copper up till a few years ago is now an importer for the third consecutive year. This change followed the plant in Tamil Nadu's Thurukuri shutting down to environmental concerns which had a production capacity of 4 lakh tons. This fall in India's exports has in turn been highly advantageous for Pakistan which has stepped in to partially bridge the gap especially to countries like China. Sterlite Copper's copper smelter plant shut down in May 2018, followed by violent protests from residents. Under the data released by the government, the import of refined copper increased to 92,000 tons in 2018-19 from 44,000 tons in 2017-18, while exports declined to around 48,000 tons in 2018-19 from 3.78 lakh tons in 2017-18. This resulted in net import of 44,000 tons in 2018-19 from net exports of 334,000 tons in 2017-18. With its exports being worth more than $2 billion in 2017-18, it then turned to being an importer by the beginning of 2018. It is the electrical and telecommunication industry that has the largest share in copper consumption, followed by transport, consumer durables, building and construction, and engineering goods. Following three months of contractions, India's copper imports began rising again in September as a result of an increase in demand from the local manufacturing units which have opened up after the COVID-19 lockdown. India's copper exports to China rose sharply in the first few months due to a non-existent local demand as industries remained shut in India due to the pandemic. However, as the domestic industry began to restart, exports too slowed down. With refined copper stocks on the decline, global prices from one part of China have seen a rise. This has brought about raised costs for local industries which are dependent on copper for their production, leading to demands from some local industry bodies for the reopening of the sterlite plant. Trade data from both India and Pakistan shows that India's share in China's copper imports fell to less than 1% in 2019 from more than 5% in 2017, while Pakistan's share in China's copper import increased to 0.6% from 0.1% during the same period. Pakistan also is producing copper and share the geographical advantage that India has, especially when it comes to exporting to China. On the other hand, Latin American countries also export copper, but in their case, freight costs are very high.